Elected officials pled guilty in federal court today. He's accused of padding his pockets with cash, cars, and even iPhones. News 4 was there as former Alderman John Collins Muhammad left court after pleading guilty to several federal charges. He's the first to fall as the feds scrape out corruption inside St. Louis City Hall. News 4's Jenna Ray was in that courtroom today for his plea. She joins us live outside City Hall in downtown tonight. Jenna. Sam, it's a pay to play scheme that's echoed through the halls of this building behind me and even leaking inside of the Board of Aldermen Chamber. As you mentioned, John Collins Muhammad, the former alderman, was the first of three former aldermen to plead guilty this afternoon. He admitted to using his political position in exchange for cash and gifts. Theft, bribery, racketeering, and wire fraud. All accusations that forced Alderman John Collins Muhammad to resign from public office in May. On Tuesday, those accusations became a reality with a guilty plea in federal court. John, what do you have to say to the city of St. Louis? Residents, anything to say to them? Judge Stephen Clark detailed the pay to play scheme, saying it was initiated by Collins Muhammad, who later dragged in former Alderman Jeffrey Boyd and former Aldermanic President Louis Reed. Collins Muhammad pled guilty to theft or bribery concerning federal funds, admitting he took cash in exchange for a business deal with an informant referred to as John Doe. The 31-year-old also pled guilty to racketeering and bribery, saying he knowingly used his public office for illegal activity, corruption, and personal gain. His heaviest sentence could come from a wire fraud guilty plea, carrying up to 20 years in prison. Anything else to say, sir? Moving forward, Collins Muhammad won't be able to appeal and will be on supervised release. Right now, his new employment includes working at an Amazon warehouse and Macy's. This afternoon, we've also learned that a letter was submitted for John Collins's character. That letter submitted by former, in, former interim police chief Lawrence O'Toole on behalf of Collins Muhammad. We have requested that letter, but have not gotten it yet. It is set to be read during Collins Muhammad's sentencing, which is on December 6th. And Jenna, this is the first of two other aldermen to plea. What's happening? What do we know is happening with the others tonight? Sam, both former Alderman Jeffrey Boyd and former Aldermanic President Lewis Reed are set to change their pleas on Friday, and News 4 will be in the courtroom for that as well. For now, we're live outside of City Hall. Jenna Ray, News 4. Jenna, thank you for that update. Months after Lewis.